Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be studying about golden rice. What is golden rice? Golden rice is genetically enriched rice with beta carotene. Its promoters claim that it can provide 30 to 50 percent of daily required value of vitamin A for lactating mothers, young children and pregnant women. But why golden rice? Why not other things? So let us understand this particular aspect. If we would like to know about what is golden rice, we should understand two basic questions. That is, why vitamin A in this particular aspect and why rice? In other words, why vitamin A has to deliver in rice? Then we will understand why golden rice. Because the golden color is because of the vitamin A which is responsible for that color. Vitamin A in the form of beta carotene gives golden color. That's why the name. So let us understand this particular question further dividing it into two parts. First part is understanding the relevance of vitamin A. What is vitamin A? Where it is available? What are its deficiencies? Like that. Second aspect we will study why rice has taken as a tool to delivery the vitamin A. Vitamin A is group of unsaturated nutritional organic compounds containing retinol, retinol, provitamin A carotenoids. There are several provitamin A carotenoids and among them is very important is beta carotene which is of our interest for today's discussion. And this particular vitamin A, the category belongs to the all chemicals of the vitamin A are, they are not synthesized in humans. The human body, the evolution pathway has not made us to synthesize them. So, it, they have become essential for our body through our diets. So, they are fat soluble and since they are fat soluble, they will solubilize in small intestine. What is the required quantity of those things? So, daily required dose for males it is uh, summarized as 900 micrograms and for females it is 700 micrograms. Vitamin A can be supplemented in both animal originated food and plant originated foods. But chemically they will be different. In animal orig originated food the dietary supplement comes in the form of trans retinol. Fishes and liver based products and dairy products will provide vitamin A in the form of retinol. The plant based foods will give vitamin A in the form of trans beta carotenes and various fruits like oranges and greens and yellow ripened fruits along with carrots, pumpkins squashes and spinaches can provide the required daily dose of the vitamins. So these are the very important sources. So if we have these things either animal originated or plant originated foods in adequate quantity, we can have vitamin A that is as per the daily required dose of 900 mg per uh, uh, males and 700 uh, micrograms for, for females. Suppose if a person, if he doesn't get the required dose of vitamin A, then it will end in the vitamin A deficiency syndromes. So that is abbreviated as VAD. Vitamin A deficiency can lead into the throat and chest infections, dry skin, dry eyes, night blindness which is the predominant 
vitamin A deficiency symptom along with delayed growth and poor wound healing properties. So all these things will happen if a person doesn't get required amount of vitamin A. And this is very prevailing in our world and let us understand the importance of vitamin A by these things. Now let us focus on the second part that is selection of rice as a tool to deliver vitamin A. What may be the logic behind this particular aspect? The link between vitamin A deficiency and rice lies in its geographical distribution. The prevalence of vitamin A deficiency is more in the areas where the people eat rice as their staple food. Almost 124 million children from these areas have become vitamin A deficient and among them 5 lakh children become blind every year. So the inventors thought that rice can be a very good medium to provide vitamin A so that it can be reached to the needy. So by answering the original two questions we put forward that is what is the connection what is the, between vitamin A and rice we come to know that why golden rice. So here we can summarize that golden rice is to assist in reduction of vitamin A deficiency. Let us quickly go through the inventors and the organizations behind the golden rice production and Ingo Potricus, Peter Bayer, these are the two major personalities behind this particular golden rice. Organizations like International Rice Research Institute in Philippines, the Rockefeller Foundation are the main ones. Let us focus on how to produce golden rice. To understand this particular process, let us fragment the whole process into different points and the task one is understanding beta-carotene synthesis pathway. The task 2 will be finding the hurdles of pathway in the rice grain. The task 3 will be identifying required genes from the suitable organisms. Task 4 will be selecting tools and process of recombinant DNA. And the fifth task is execution of the selected process to get the intended result. Beta carotene Synthesis pathway is isoprene derived pathway which begins with the geranyl geranyl diphosphate getting converted into phytoin, phytoin to zeta carotene, zeta carotene to lycopene, lycopene to beta carotene because beta carotene is a 40 carbon compound. So from small units, isoprene units of 5 carbons, 10 carbons, 15 carbons, 20 carbons like that, it becomes the 40 carbon compound in at the end. So this is a general pathway what we have studied with respect to the beta carotene synthesis. When we specifically study the rice endosperm pathway of beta carotene synthesis, we have come to know that Immature rice endosperm can produce geranyl geranyl diphosphate that is the first compound of the beta carotene synthesis but it cannot produce further that means phytoin, zeta carotene or uh, lycopene or beta carotene in that particular manner. So biotechnologically the task was to trigger on the genes either by inserting or by triggering the present genes into production of beta-carotene. 
and how scientists achieve that. This is what we are going to understand. During the initial period of golden rice development, it was an established fact that the transformation experiments which have done on rice embryo, they have been proven already. The phytoin could be synthesized by a gene from daffodils. So it was known fact. At this point of time, it is very evident that geranyl geranyl diphosphate can be obtained natively. That means the immature endosperm of the rice can produce it. And also the earlier transformation experiment which was conducted and get got result of producing phytoin by using a daffodil gene which codes for phytoin synthase can be utilized in this particular experiment also. But what about the further processes to get the beta carotene? So to understand that scientists knew that further three more subsequent stages are required to reach up to the zeta carotene from the phytoin and the pathway was getting lycopene from the phytoin with the help of two enzymes phytoin desaturase and zeta carotene desaturase which will helps to bind bridge the double bonds because the carbon atoms are getting more and more more and more from phytoin to lycopene and from the lycopene to beta carotene there should be another enzyme that is lycopene beta cyclase scientists but identified one more possibility with the help of a bacteria which contains the bacterial carotene desaturase which can replace two enzymes which are capable of bridging the double bonds into one gene that is bacterial carotene desaturase. So by this way phyto into lycopene can be converted by using only one enzyme and further processes remains as it is. So they made a draft of the producing the golden rice by using two genes from daffodils and one gene from bacteria. The daffodil which is scientifically called as Narcissus pseudo Narcissus contained two genes, PSY gene and LCY gene coding for phytoin synthase and lycopene beta cyclase. And Ervinia urdovora was the bacteria which contributed the CTRL gene which codes for bacterial carotene desaturase. But after some time, scientists identified that only phytoin synthase gene is enough and the lycopene cyclase enzyme was not required for the pathway. So they have took only two genes, that means only one gene from Narcissus, pseudo Narcissus and one gene from bacterial desaturase. That is at the later phase after 2002 after the, those phase onwards but initially they took three genes to produce golden rice and at this point of time the daffodil gene has been replaced by maize gene to give more amount of beta carotene Moving further to understand the tools and process of our recombinant DNA technology which is used in golden rice production, scientists have used constructs to target the gene expression only in rice endosperms, not anywhere else. And to do that they have used vectors and two vectors have been used. In construct one the used vector was PZPSC and construct 2 was PZLCYH and control regions were promoters were used, transit peptides were used along with the selectable markers. 
and the technology used for transformation of the recombined DNA was agrobacterium mediated transformation technology. If we analyze this particular diagram, our visualization of the tools will be easy. So as we have already explained, there were two constructs, that means recombined DNAs were there. And in first construct, which was for a unique vector, and second constructs for another vector. So this in first construct, we can look into the involvement of two genes which are placed together. And in second construct, there is only one gene which was required for beta carotene synthesis along with the selectable marker can be seen and all other control points like promoters, then uh, rice replicon genes, all those things can be visualized in this particular diagram. So this is about tools which are required in golden rice preparation. Now it is time to understand the method of execution of this particular process using these tools. Let us understand the execution of the process of recombinant DNA technology used in golden rice. So in golden rice, as we know that from the daffodils, two genes have been taken and from bacteria, one gene has been taken. So what happens here, the two genes Clear diagram suggested here we will have a pictorial representation of the same. From the daffodil there will be two genes will be taken and they move to the different uh, constructs in a different manner and one bacterial gene will move along with the phytoin synthase gene of the daffodil. And as a further process the new constructs will enter into the bacterium that is agrobacterium so agrobacterium mediated transformation will takes place on the successful transformation the rice embryos are capable of getting the recombined dna thereby they starts expressing the beta carotene synthesis then this particular event is termed as successful event and such rice grains will be grown further and they will give more and more grains and the plants obtained by those grains can be hybridized with the native rice varieties and thereby transforming the beta carotene synthesizing capacity to the local varieties can be achieved and such local varieties can be grown in the paddy fields to get more yield. So this is golden rice and so far we have discussed the real technical aspects of the golden rice in detailed manner which will give golden rice at a laboratory scale. Let us have a very brief overview how that particular lab made golden rice can reach to the field in a very quicker manner. So golden rice has to, from the laboratory if it has to be deployed, there are several stages it has to pass through and all the stages need to be tightly regulated and they have to be evaluated and their results has to be documented in a very proper manner. Over a period of time, in a continuous research work, golden rice has evolved. The number of genes have been replaced, reduced and the organisms from where they have been sources also changed just to ensure that the golden rice will produce more and more amount of beta carotene and that will reduce the vitamin A deficiency. And that's all about the golden rice for you and I hope this particular lecture was useful to you.
if you like my channel kindly subscribe to it share the videos and like them thank you